Okay, so I, you know, I said I'd eventually get around to doing the retail bit. Well, I'd done the retail bit. I said I'd finally get around to doing the outdoor bit and try to add on to the video for the retail bit. I did it. So yeah, I'm like just doing the really poorly lit like shop bit now. All like the random shelves and refrigerators, and I was just playing around at bars or counters and made better looking till points. Like, eh, it's a bit iffy. And that's like a little meat counter area up at the top as I move too fast for me to keep up. Ah. Um. <clears throat> I'm just playing, yeah, okay, the meat counter and stuff like sinks and various things. Bin. Only there was a meat cutter, but you know, the uh, little countery thingies for storing all the baked goods. They, they, they work very well. Um, let there be light! I can almost sort of see what I'm doing. Like, go. You'd think in The Sims, like the shop with only windows and one on one wall would be there super dark. I would like, uh, would be super light and real life would be super dark because, you know, real life. But no, no, it's okay. Shops can actually have windows just on one side and they're fine. And then Sims is like, nope. And this is just like storage rooms. So lots and lots of shelves and a total lack of any, like, stuff on them. Because, you know, this is like a supermarket kind of shop. Like, there's not a lot of that kind of clutter and stuff in game. And I'm, I'm not quite dedicated enough to go through mods, because after building all this, I'm kind of like, I close this game. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's just, I, I think I'm done looking at it for a while. Especially because, like, if we had any sort of train tools and stuff, I would just have, like, there'd be ramps in there and look in the, uh, shop and... I don't know if that's going to come through my microphone, but it probably will. So hey, yeah, th this is what I get for getting WhatsApp. More accurately, it's what I get for being too lazy to actually check my phone, and thus getting WhatsApp, like, on the web. And yeah, I never ever close it, it's always there. I'm that lazy. Yeah, that bit is like all the little freezers, you know, with your, like, milk and stuff. And... <laughs> Cupcake machine, if it would fit. But I'll we'll just stick with the microwave and sinks. The, the few things you can really put in there in the counter. And those are meant to be like two little card stands, because you know how sometimes supermarkets have like, the little tiny stands where they have some random, like, work the cards, you know, for the birthday cards and the Christmasy cards and the cards. <laughs> and then up here is like the sort of office, canteen, storage slash coat room, whatever. It's just, you know, pretty chill. So much wooden floor. Accurate use of a microwave! Yay! It doesn't really make the rooms kind of too long, but like I'm sticking with like my my image of how it should be, and trying to make that work in some spots. Are my videos speed builds or just me ranting about Sigma Squares? That is the question. Keep my clutter items where I need to look into like, more custom content clutter, but I don't want to end up like just filling my computer up with all custom content and then then I'll go to actually play something else for once and I'll try to install it and the computer just should be like, no. And I'd be like, okay. Yes, yeah, so the office with the computers and little boxes of files and stuff that actually come in is useful. Clutter. Um, I start trying to use filing cabinets, which kind of goes interestingly because of the games. Filing cabinets are not that big. Not that big at all. Um, also, I hate trying to place things on shelves because the number of things that can go on a shelf and then everything that look right on a shelf and just shelves. I don't know, I'm, I'm a professional. 
perfectionist and it gets to me. <laughs> it gets to me. See, see, there's the pine cone. Like, they're not like super small, but they're not that large. But they look weird, like if you size them up much. So I just ended up like casually stacking them on top of each other. So they kind of look okay. Kind of. I hope. <laughs> the lighting isn't great, so like, uh, hopefully. Hopefully. <clears throat> Every office needs a casual carpet. And just like tables and stuff. So we had more office supplies type things, like, you know, printers and stuff. Fax machine. You know, the really, really typically kind of boring but necessary. Apparently breaks down a lot if, like, TV and internet and anything is to be believed. Um, yeah, my leg just, like, moved and it was scary. <sighs> uh, yeah, outside. The thing is with this lot, and this is like one of the biggest lots in games, everything should really go out just straight for ages behind the building. But as you'll see, um, <clears throat> well, you'll see when I move it to the bigger lot. Actually, I didn't realize I hadn't moved it to the bigger lot at this point. Yeah, so I'm just building like a little covered area outside that has like the out some outdoor giant freezers and just like a little bit for driving cars, you know, the driveway kind of thing. And then I move it to the bigger lot, and there's, it's like, the idea in my mind would be it just goes out straight, like it has a huge straight, just space, slash backyard, slash whatever, outside. And it's like the outside! And this is just like a little teeny tiny simple, like, outdoor toilet, because it's like practically across from the doors outside from the store, so you know, it's Conveniently placed, if not quite as convenient as if it was like next to the canteen or something. But we're sticking with this blueprint kind of layout, so yeah. And then just like a couple of kind of. They're not really cupboards or closets if they're outdoors, or at black doors, but it's just kind of the area like. You know, it's like all the mops are stored and stuff, all the cleaning stuff. And then this building is like old kids playhouse slash turned into a bit of a storage area and once I get around to decorating it, it like does sort of feel like a mixture of both and this is meant to be like a doggy pen attached to a bunch of old stables you know how sometimes you know people reuse old stables making something else so there's a bunch of like wooden kind of like I'm just picturing like it would be like big wooden boxes with like little dog beds there and the dogs can just like jump up in and that's their boxes. <coughs> <coughs> As I die. <coughs> it was nice knowing you world. Um, <coughs> Come on. Come on. My, my description of my lot is not that bad. I don't need to die for it. Um <laughs> Uh, did, did, did this, I mean, yeah, that, like, I wish we had more gates, because that gate is really, like, I wanted something more kind of like, uh, like a field gate, just because, like, they're really wide, so that'd be cool, and then that bit up there near that pillar is just, like, another little, like, covered area for, like, parking vehicles and stuff, and then it turns right into the left, what is literally just a giant grassy area. I was figuring it would be more like if this if the lots were big enough then this could all go just straight in a line. So it would be like the toilet and things and like playhouse storage and the dog pen and the staples behind the dog pen and then stretch away up into a large, large grassy area. And yeah. Because those dogs need running with. And then I went and got perfectionistic with lights. Um a wall decoration because you if you're gonna have a wall there you might as well have a 